Welcome back everyone. Just a quick little video today looking at the STM32 and getting it set up to use with the Arduino IDE. I ordered two of these units off eBay and had all sorts of trouble getting one set up and it ended up that it was just dead on arrival. I thought I'd do a little video just so that it can help fast track getting it organized for anyone else to uh, start using it. So let's take a look at it now. So this is what we're going to be playing with today. It's called the Blue Pill. It's basically a development board for the STM32. So let's get started with it. So one of the great things about the STM32 is we can set up the Arduino IDE to program it. So let's just start up the IDE. And once it's started, we go to Tools, Boards, Board Manager and just scroll down to find the Cortex M3, select that and install. This takes a little while to actually install. And once that's installed, just close down the board manager and open up a web browser. So you're going to want to navigate to this GitHub site managed by Roger Clark and download the project as a zip file. I'll put a link to this down below. So once that's downloaded, just uh, grab that zip file and put it somewhere convenient and we're going to want to unzip it. The unzip folder needs to actually be loaded into the Arduino hardware folder. Now, if this folder doesn't exist, then just create it under the Arduino folder and copy the complete folder that was unzipped into there. And that's all the prep work we need to do to use the ID with the new STM32 boards. So if we just shut down the IDE and reopen it again, you'll see that if we go to the boards now, the actual STM32 boards are available for selection. And the one we're going to want to select is STM32F103C. The 64K version, 72 meg clock, and the serial interface. You'll notice we don't have a port yet, so let's take a look at how we set that up. So this is the actual pinout of the board. You'll note there's a 5 volt and a 3.3 volt terminal. Now the actual processor is a 3.3 volt processor. However, there is a regulator on board. So you can feed 5 volts to the board. Just be very careful where you do. So what we're going to want to do is connect 5 volts here and the ground here. And we'll be using the serial interface. So we'll connect the transmit to PA9 here and the receive to PA10 here. So I've got the blue pill on the breadboard. I'll just plug in the USB interface and connect the ground from the USB interface to the ground of the blue pill and the five volts from the USB interface onto the five volt terminal and connect up the receive and transmit wires. Once we've done that, we'll plug in the USB cable and just make sure we've got signs of life. And now when we go and have a look at the port, we should see that port there and have it selectable. Now let's just open up an example sketch. Uh, just maybe select the blink. One of the differences between the normal Arduinos and the STM32 is the actual pin numbers are different. So if we go and have a look at this blink sketch, we actually have our lead on PC13. So we need to change the references to PC13. Once we've done that, then we can try uploading to the actual board. 
Before we can do that though, we need to put it in program mode and you do this by moving the actual boot zero jumper across. Once you're in program mode, you need to hit the reset button every time before uploading. So now back in the IDE, if we just click the upload button like normal, the sketch will be uploaded to the controller. And if we take a look at the controller, you can see the LED blinking merrily on the interface, uploading the sketch. And once it's completed, it starts executing the blink code. To take it out of program mode, we can move the jumper back into the run position and give it a reset. And even if we disconnect power now, you'll see that when we reconnect it, it just starts executing the sketch like normal. So there you go, there's a quick run through on just getting started with the STM32 and the Adreno IDE. Cheers! If you like what I'm doing, then please do like the video. If you'd like to see more, then please subscribe. And don't forget to hit the chime so you get notified when I post something new. And I'll put a couple of links here to some other videos you can look at.